Hi, I'm Sonia and welcome to my channel, Life Over 60. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about another Sol Gennaro product. Some time back, I did a video on the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, comparing it to the Nutrius Brazilian Body um, Butter Cream. I wanted to know if this was the same as this. I'll link the video below. Go take a look and you can see what my conclusions were. Recently, I was in my local Costco and I came across another Nutrius cream. And this one, <laughs> it's called the same thing. It's called Brazilian Body Butter, except it has a purple lid. And I wondered, I wonder if this is similar to the Sol Janeiro Beja Flora cream. So I obviously purchased both of them. Here's what they say about the creams. And I'll just read this because the writing is quite small. For the, for the Beja Flor, it says, it's a collagen rich daily body cream that visibly boosts elasticity for replenished plump looking skin. And the concerns are for loss of firmness and elasticity. And the highlighted ingredients for this is cacao oil, and that is a plant-based retinol and plant squalane. As well, it says that it has plant-based collagen, saying that it's a vegan, a vegan collagen that supports skin structure, density, and balance. Sounds pretty good, and I'm all for anything that's going to bring back some firmness and elasticity to my skin. The Nutrius uh, cream, the, the purple one, it says that it's a luscious scented body cream with hand-picked ingredients suitable for all skin types. And when you look at the ingredients, it has shea butter, cacao oil, plant collagen, and plant squalane. So key ingredients are identical to, to this, but are they? identical. Can you say that this is a duplicate of this? One thing, and I just mentioned in the description of this, that it's a fra it's got fragrance. So if you are somebody who doesn't like fragrance or is sensitive to fragrance, well, obviously these products would not necessarily be good for you. Now, like I said, the top three ingredients are the same. In fact, this product has 14 of the exact same ingredients as this product. That said though, there are some differences. There are different ingredients. So while I can't say that it's an exact duplicate, I can say it's awfully close. And especially when you, you look at the cream, you smell it. I don't find it very strong, to be honest. And I smell, to me, they smell pretty much the same. The, there's really not much of a fragrance, in my opinion. If I were to put it on, you know, it's a nice thick cream. i just put it like on my arm. And it just feels great going on the skin. It really absorbs quickly and easily. This one. And then if I do the same, it's, again, nice and thick. And again... It goes on super nice, super absorbent, absorbs rapidly right into the skin and doesn't leave any kind of greasy film. It's just feels really, really nice on the skin. When I was reading off the ingredients, I mentioned that both products say they have vegan collagen. That, I must say, kind of surprised me because collagen only comes from animal products. So how do you make a vegan collagen? And when I looked at the ingredients, all I saw in the ingredient list for the Beja Flor was collagen amino acids. And the description of that only talked about collagen coming from, you know, meat sources or animal products, I should say. The nutrients in the ingredient list, I couldn't see any reference to something that might be collagen related. I'm not sure. Could have just been an oversight or it could be a, a name of an ingredient that I couldn't find um, meaning, you know, to mean vegan collagen. I did some research then. I wanted to find out 
is there really such a thing as vegan collagen? And it seems that yes, there actually could be. And that the vegan collagen is created by binding together corn, soy, and wheat protein fibers. And then that results in vegan amino acids, which then structurally would mimic collagen, like the animal-based collagen. So that's interesting. It was something I learned. Now, does it work as well as animal-based collagen? I don't know. I'm not an expert and I really couldn't find a lot when I was doing some research. So if you know anything more about this than I do, I would love to hear your comments and love to hear what you've been able to find out. So knowing that these two products are very similar, extremely similar, I personally will go with the Nutrius. And the reason being is this tiny jar cost me $30, whereas two of these jars cost me $25. For me, this is what I would buy, buy again. And I would repurchase this. I really do like the feel of, of the cream on my skin. I like the soft scent that it has. And for the price, I think it's a pretty darn good cream. I hope you enjoy the video. If you like content like this, leave me a comment. Let me know. Or if there's some something else you'd like me to talk about, I'd love to hear your feedback. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video.